What's good? It's Jordan. Today I'll be talking about the importance of self-love. See, on this journey today, we must understand that we have to love ourselves. Many times we do things for others to prove to other people that we love them, that we trust them, that we put our whole faith in them, but we must put our faith in the Most High and put our faith in ourselves. See, when we come to this earth, when we're born, we were taught to just show appreciation for everything around us. We were taught to show our love to everybody but ourselves. And with this, we haven't developed the ability to have self-love. We haven't developed the ability to learn self-love. You know, self-love is about building confidence knowing the journey that you're placed here today, knowing your passion, knowing your purpose, knowing the most high, and knowing that you have the ability to walk in freedom and walk in faith. See, when we're not taught self-love, we are insecure, jealous, envious, boastful, cocky, all these negative traits that do not lead us anywhere. When someone has self-love, they do not have to seek external validation. When someone has self-love, they do not have to do things out of the ordinary in order to gain attention. When you're embedded with self-love, you walk in confidence and you walk in faith. And people can see that, you know, and many times if people understood that everyone has the ability to have self-love. Everyone has the ability to follow the most high, everyone has the ability to do the things needed in this life. First, to be well equipped with the faith. If everyone understood these things, then we would have a totally different world. But due to the fact of the matter of many various people coming from different backgrounds, some people were taught self-love and others weren't. This doesn't mean that even when you aren't taught self-love that you're not able to change. But you know, in this life, people would rather live however they want to live and not change anything because they feel like if they change something, then they'll have to change everything. So people would rather live in the ways of insecurity that they're just used to living with than actually changing and embedding the life that they deserve and want to live. See, when you have self-love, you know what you need to work on and you're still confident in yourself knowing that you still need to work on things. You walk with your head held high, you walk straight forward with strength, knowing that the Most High has favor upon your life. See, self-love is not an easy thing to come by. You have to learn it. You have to learn to put yourself first. And sometimes we get placed in many various groups where we may be at institutions, workplace environments, personal situations in life with friendship groups, family members, associates, colleagues. And when we're intertwined with these groups, we lose our sight on self-love. You know, somebody in the group may get attention more than others due to how they look, due to how they act, due to how much status, fame, money, fortune they have. And you decide to go along to get along because this individual seems like they have everything together and this individual seems like they're a leader. So you may not have these traits. So you decide to join others by following what others are doing, following this person. You know, and that's how cult groups start because people look towards this person because they may not have something that this person may have. And in reality, everyone is missing something even when they seem like everything is in order. But it's just the fact of the matter of you not having self-love to know that you can be your own individual instead of blindly following people because they're following someone else. You see, in this society, we have many people who do not have self-love. You have many people who follow people blindly because they're missing something and they want that thing that other person 
that is a leader in their life has. They may be insecure. They may have not found themselves as yet. And they decide that this individual that they see has found themselves. So they want to be a part of this individual's life. And then you have other people who are hive minded that see that this individual is gaining attention. So they just want to be around this individual because they want to know how this person is at the status that they're at. But in reality, just being your own person and loving yourself creates indifference because, you know, people could be around that individual that seems like they're a leader, but then people can see you and see that you're indifferent and you do your own thing and want to understand why you aren't with them around this individual. So just be your own person because at the end of the day, when you're your own person and you, you do your own thing and you strive for the life that the Most High has built for you, you become indifferent, you know, then people start to look at your movements, look at how you react to things and they decide that they want to be around you because you may show leadership traits just like this other person, but you may do it in your own way just because you are indifferent, just because you have self-love, just because you have confidence. So know that even when you have self-love, you're confident. You know, you don't have to be boastful about anything. You don't have to show people that you are the man or the woman. Just your presence there, being around, people know that you are the person. People know that you are blessed. People know that you are the person of the hour that gets things done. You know, just being confident and just being humble and just showing grace and gratitude. That is a part of self-love. When people see you, you don't have to show off like you're something that you're not to prove to people that you're that guy or that girl. But just you being there and living in the moment and actually embracing those who see you as the individual of the hour, you know, it's real. And with confidence and having self-love, you know the boundaries in your life that you may take uphold of. You know, if someone says something to you that you don't like and you tell that person that you don't like what they said, that's being confident. Even though there will be an awkward silence or there'll be a dispute behind that. But at the end of the day, the person will respect you enough to understand where you come from. And if they don't respect you enough, oh well, at least you said something. You know, in everything, people will test you. They'll test your boundaries. They'll test you to see how you are, to see what type of individual you are. And when you understand self-love, you don't play into their games and their tests. People will test you to see how much respect they should show you by what they say, to see how much you will let slide. You know, and at the end of the day, when you're starting to love yourself and you're starting to understand yourself, you don't want to be dealing with people who are playing these type of games. You want to deal with people who know the most high, who understand the most high, who understand the life that we're meant to live, that understand how to treat people properly. When you have self-love, you know how to treat people properly. When you don't have self-love, you treat people however you feel like. People are disposable to you. This individual you may treat better than yourself or better than other people because of the resources they have. Because you want something. You treat people based on transactional use. When your self-love is embedded in you, you treat everybody the same. You know, you have people who treat business owners who make millions and billions of dollars like a god. They don't even know these individuals personally, but they walk past the janitors, the garbage men, the tradesmen, the construction workers, the blue collared professionals, so to speak. And they do not acknowledge these people. Without these people, this world would not be functioning how it is. 
understand that the businessmen who are millionaires, billionaires, they don't really do the hard work. The people who are blue collared workers do the hard work, but they do not get any love. So salute to them because without them, our world would be in chaos. But see, this is where we understand self-love and we understand where to show gratitude and where to show grace because instead of focusing on the man at the top who may do a little to nothing, we focus on him and we place him high, him or her, but we do not place those who may be at the bottom that are doing the most in order for us to function in a proper way in this life today. So we have to understand ourselves and get our priorities straight because it is important that we understand ourselves and we understand what's going on around us. So I just wanna leave that with you today because at the end of the day, we have to look outside of ourselves and we have to look at the world around us because if we don't, then we aren't taking the precautions possible to understand what this world is really about. So today, I want to leave you with this scripture, and I hope in your own personal life that you understand that self-love is important. And once you receive self-love for yourself, then you can be the example for other people in this life in order for them to reach a pinnacle for themselves to receive self-love as well. 1 Corinthians 13, 4, 8. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not readable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. I want to thank you for watching today and understand that if you're working towards a goal, you can achieve that goal. Put the most high first. Understand that you have the ability to have love for yourself. Put yourself first under the most high and walk with faith today. Peace.